Good Sunday evening, Socrates family. I'm reaching out to you today because I want to share with you my reflection of the week as well as the past two weeks. Truly, I reflect as a principal daily uh, as I receive feedback from teachers and truly all stakeholders. But I participated in a principal's meeting this past week, and one of the things that was brought up were two words to think about, feel and impact. When I reflect back to week one, I know that the teachers and truly the entire school wanted to create, uh, wanted to have an impact on students at home. And the way they did that was to try to create a sense of normalcy by creating business as usual, but at home. What we learned was it was overwhelming for many different reasons. Overwhelming maybe because uh, it was too much work. Overwhelming because of factors at home that we know absolutely nothing about. Um, factors of a single parent trying to work and ha help their child to learn. Factors of multiple siblings in one, uh, one household. Uh, so many factors. A parent may have lost a job, but there's an impact of this COVID-19 that is creating certain feelings that impact a child and families every day, every minute of every day, and things change every minute of every day. So week one, they try to create business as usual. Um, week two, we learned it was overwhelming. So as we embark into week three, what I wanted to share with you is we hear you and we are moving toward weekly goals, weekly objectives and weekly connections. So I know that some parents have said, I just got all these invitations. And what we're trying to do is have our teachers connect with the scholars once per week so that the literacy teacher is meeting with the scholars in whatever grade level it is once per week. And in that meeting, in that interactive meeting, that, that teacher is receiving feedback from her students in that very moment. And then the students may not be turning in a worksheet. They may, but they may not. But these are unique ways for teachers to change the manner in which they teach to really focus on the power standards that allow a student to show their proficiency at a particular grade level. Because what we know is that the governor said, at least by May 15th, the students will be learning from home. So what does that mean for us? What if we come back after May 15th? That's three and a half weeks that we have remaining before the end of the school year that's not the entire nine weeks that we would typically have for a quarter. So we need to provide instruction. If we don't come back, what does that mean for us? Well, we wanna know that we've provided the critical components of learning. So I'm about to share my screen with you because the State Board of Education met on Friday to talk about exactly these things. How can schools provide, can schools provide instruction at home? And how are they getting evidence to show that the students can be promoted to the next grade? And that's the challenging part for us too at Socrates Academy, because we want to be able in August to start the next school year. But what does that look like for students, particularly in eighth grade, or really, truly all students who either are going to a different school or moving to the next grade level, we already have all of the standards in that particular grade level. You can, it's not going to be feasible to add on the fourth quarter standards from the previous school year. So I'm going to share with you the critical components that the State Board of Education said that we needed to have um, in order to say that we are offering distance learners. It needs to be accessible by all students, which we've worked with individual families to make sure that that is possible. That we maintain consistent communication between the instructional staff and the students, and that's what we're trying to do by moving toward a weekly connection. Um, many teachers are already doing this. We're not trying to change what's already working for particular grade levels, but we do want to offer the opportunity for each student to connect with teachers who they may not be connecting with already. Um, address the curricular and instructional needs associated with the appropriate standards. Again, we're looking at power standards. Uh, we are moving towards standards-based grading in the upcoming year, and this is a great opportunity for our teachers to really focus on what is important. What is important for, for students to be able to show by the end of whatever grade level it is. 
and that we consider the whole child as well as the home learning environment. We are aware that a home learning environment is very challenging right now. And so that's why we are moving toward weekly connections as opposed to daily, not no longer daily tasks, daily assignments, uh, daily connection with the teacher, but rather a weekly. As you read in the Socrates connection, we are also moving toward weekly attendance. Between Sunday and Saturday, we ask that you sign your child in to say that they attended the week's worth of learning. When we met with our staff this week, we also went through this um, expectations of digital learning to show our staff what digital learning would look like depending on the developmental needs of the scholars. So a kindergarten student with a connection like I'm having with you, but with a class on the screen, would be able to uh, learn with a five to six minute direct, instru direct instruction piece. And then they would be able to apply it for about 10 to 12 minutes. So this week we are practicing this. So as parents, you'll receive some invitations to, for your children to attend Zoom classrooms. Um, we are aware of some of the challenges with Zoom that have been brought to the attention of everyone. Uh, we are following the guidance of the state by that well, for the Zoom invitations, uh, following all of the security measures that we've been told to take. Um, we're showing our teachers what they need to put in their particular classrooms to ensure that they're following the FERPA regulations. So just so you know, we're aware of that and we'll keep, um, keep everyone updated as far as any changes that we might need to make. But again, here is what we went through with the teachers. And again, it took us a week to go through it and connect with every single teacher. So just like we're asking, <laughs> you know, uh, you all are asking us to slow down in delivery. Um, we also as a school are slowing down because it's very challenging to connect with everyone in one particular week. So uh, as I was telling you at the beginning, a reflection that I've had this entire time is slow down. <laughs> we can't get it all in. It is not business as usual. I know we're trying to create a sense of normalcy uh, that looks like it did, but we have a new normal now. So I want you as parents to know that we're moving toward weekly goals. We are moving toward a weekly connection with your teacher. Unless your teacher has already established a routine with you and your family, we're gonna have them stick with that because whatever's working, we're not trying to interrupt. But we also wanna make sure that we are providing that connection with teachers who may have not been establishing that connection originally. But we're moving toward weekly goals, weekly assignments, weekly attendance, and we hope that you all will see a difference. Um, again, it takes time. We're slowing down. Uh, and one other thing that I am going to be adding with Ms. Savage is we are going to have um, parent uh, outreach meetings as well. So that throughout the week, we are hoping to have two to four, depending on the demand of what is needed, because um, we can only have limited number of participants. And we are going to connect with you as parents so that we can, you can have a direct avenue to us during this time as well. So again, we're trying to slow down. We know how, well, we're learning how you feel. Uh, and we want to make an impact. We want to have intellectual rigor. Um, and we also want to have quality instruction so that our scholars will be um, continuing on in their learning through this COVID-19 pandemic. So. I really appreciate your time and I look forward to speaking with you guys throughout the week as parents and then again on Sunday I'll share another video. I hope you have a lovely Sunday night with your families.